In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, praise be to Allah, Lord and cherisher of the world. And may Allah send His peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and those who rightly follow him until the Day of Judgment. Amen. Some Muslims might say, why should I call people to Islam? Calling people to Islam is not compulsory. Uh, you have a choice in the matter. Calling people to Islam is not compulsory. Yes, it is compulsory. Calling people to Islam actually is, uh, came before praying five times a day. The command to pray five times a day came like uh, 13 years later about when Prophet Muhammad became a prophet وسلم, he was not commanded to tell people to pray five times a day till like 13 years later but calling people to Islam God gave them God gave him that command right away in Surah al mudathir Allah says in the name of God the most gracious the most merciful Ya ayyuhal mudathir kum fa'anzir kum Fa'anzir, Allah telling Muhammad in chapter 74, verse 2, Stand up and go call people. Anzir is a nadir. Nadir is to go warn, go call, go preach. Kum fa'anzir, wa rabbaka fakabbir, and glorify your Lord. What is he telling him? Kum fa'anzir. Kum, and if I told you stand up and go warn, Stand up and deliver. That's a command. And that's a command given to Prophet Muhammad in chapter 74, verse 2. So, a command to the Prophet is a command to us. Whatever Allah commands him is also a command to us. So when Allah tells him, Kum fa'andir, that's actually a command for the Muslims as well. Kum fa'andir. He's telling him, and if you do not convey the message, then you have failed, in other words. That Allah is telling Muhammad, you, you have failed if you, if you did not convey the message. If he is a failure, if, if he did not convey the message, he's a failure. Who's saying this? Allah. Allah says, if he did not convey the message. In other words, if you do not call people to Islam, you are a failure. You see? Now imagine this. Then what about us? If we don't convey the message, we are a failure. If we do not convey the message. It doesn't mean you have to knock on everyone's house. And you have to stand on the street 24-7 handing out flyers. No. If someone asks you a question, respond to the question. If you have free time, put some videos on uh, the internet. Or call people to Islam. Or um, invite them to a city hall. And call them to Islam in a city hall. There's many ways of calling people to Islam. But Allah is saying that we are failures. Allah is saying that we are failures. If, if what? If we do not convey the message. Explain to me how we are successful if we refuse to open our mouth. If we refuse to open our mouth, explain to me how we're successful. We make money. We provide for our family, we uh, play games, we go to the theaters, we go to the malls, we pray five times a day and we say then, okay, that's enough, we're successful. No. Even if we do jihad, even if we do jihad, that's not enough. Even if we fast in the month of Ramadan, that's not enough. Why? Allah, Allah says in the Holy Quran in chapter 2, Ya ayyuha ya ladina amanu, or ya ayyuha nas, udkhulu bisilmi kafa. Allah says, O oh, humankind, enter into Islam and everything. Enter into Islam and everything. Allah didn't say pray and fast and that's enough. No. Everything. Gatha. All the commands and prohibitions. And da'wah is a command. So if we do not convey the message, then we are failures in the eyes of Allah. If we do not convey the message, if we do not call people to Islam, then in the eyes of Allah, we are failures. But convey only what you know if you do not know nothing you have no right to convey the message do not convey anything unless you learn knowledge 
and knowledge is whatever Allah says and whatever Rasulullah says Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so learn act and then convey Allah says pray five times a day I don't pray five times a day in this period I'm only giving an example if I don't pray five times a day what should I do first pray first or preach or preach about prayer no I should pray first and then I should preach about prayer if I am not praying I should not preach something I'm not acting I cannot preach something that I am not acting according to Allahumma salli sallam baraka ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi sallam to learn more about Islam go to ahmadjibreel.com a h m a d j i b r i l.com thank you and have a nice day